Hello people, Adventure Max here. Uh, today um, I'm off to somewhere called Labongan. It's an island just off Indonesia and we're getting a uh, Labongan fast cruise boat here. It was uh, 400,000, well 500,000 rupiah for a uh, return ticket which is, I can't remember what that is. I think it's about $20, $25 for a return ticket and the island you can't see it behind me. It's about a 20 minute speedboat drive over. Uh, I'm going to go stay there for two nights, get some surfing, snorkeling, some scuba diving, and that sort of stuff. It'll be a bit of a nice break from what I had yesterday. So yesterday I was obviously in the rainforest, and that was brilliant. And so today it's a completely different change of pace. We had a two hour crazy drive down from the mountains here. You know, breakneck speed, the roads here are a bit nuts. Uh, and now uh, going to relax for the first time. So the first time I've actually set foot on a beach since I've been here, which is remarkable, seeing as I've been here two days in a a beach paradise. Today is the first chance I've actually had to, to, to go for a paddle. Um, I'm really looking forward to stepping foot on this uh, beach, getting on a boat. Uh, no, no, no holiday to anywhere like this. For me, it's complete without going on a boat. And if I don't go on a boat at least once, I always get a little bit, a little bit disappointed. So I'm looking forward to going on this boat uh, and see what's on the other side. So now I've arrived, uh, I'm staying here in Mushroom Bay and the place I'm staying in is Mushroom Bungalows, uh, fairly typically named obviously. And it's one of those places which you can't really judge too much by its cover on the, on the sort of alleyway up to it. It's, you think, oh, this place has got to be terrible, but then once you get here, it really is a beautiful place. The, uh, there's a lot of traditional buildings here, it's got a couple of pools, it's, it's really not what I expected when I initially approached and uh, it's right on the beach as you can see behind me. I'm just sitting in by the pool here um, and the, the, the beach here is quite nice. It's got a small, a small break over the reef. It's actually one of the safest surf breaks on the island uh, and it's, it's, it's pretty small though. It's a downside. It's very clear and I think it's breaking about two foot in the moment maximum. Uh, I'm staying in the honeymoon suite for some reason and it's is what it, it is a bedroom you know it's a delightful little cabin I mean the area as you see is around us is actually fairly typical for a Indonesian um, small resort if you ever find yourself in Labongan that's where I am now then uh, there's a few things to do here uh, the, the island can be comparable to an island, another island called Gili T, except Gili T there's no cars, so it's got the same sort of vibe about it. This place is a bit more developed, it's got roads, um, it's got small little towns and towns within the island, but the main things to do here are go swimming in the pool, uh, scuba diving, they have sunfish in Manta Ray here. Now sunfish here, uh, if you don't know what they are, they're giant fish, um, like this. And here they're called Mula Mula. I, I, I've always wanted to see one, but unfortunately I'm just out of the wrong season. Uh, the season ends for Mula Mula in October. And so now it's November, no more. Apparently the, the temperature of the water has changed right now. So I had planned on going scuba diving tomorrow, but the, the, man, the scuba diving centre managed to unsell going scuba diving to me. So I went in and said, ah, oh, how much scuba diving? Yeah, what is, is there anything to see? He said, ah, oh, no, no. Is there a manta ray? No, no, no manta ray. Is there any sunfish? No, oh, no, 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 no manta ray. Sunfish. Is there any big fish? No, no, no big sunfish. How about the water? Oh, it's terrible. So at which point I gave up, you know, when you're trying to actually give the guy money to take you, it worst salesman ever. But on the plus side, it honestly means that if I went to another another paddy centre and they would tell me it's the best ever diving, and I get out there and find it. And this is because this time of year is quite simple. He was quite explanatory, which was nice. The because the currents are changing, as the cold water mixes with the hot water, and so it just makes it very cloudy. Uh, so the visibility drops to three or four meters. Even though the snorkeling's still excellent because it's in a different type of water, different uh, depth. So, still go snorkeling here. So, the snorkeling's very good. The surfing's 
from what I can see here. Okay, like, I'm not on the best break. If you go around the corner, it's a lot better break. Uh, surfing, snorkeling, a lot of kayaking. Um, and just general booze cruise type trips. It's your typical island, you know, there's only so many activities you can do on an island and they're all pretty much the same thing. Uh, I haven't seen anything on the interior, I don't, I don't know if there's walking or hiking or anything like that. But if you want to do hiking, walk up and down the beach is my advice. Don't, don't go for a hike in the interior, it's just too hot, you get sunburned and lost. Uh, stick to the beach where there's plenty of beer, food and pretty things to look at. Just been for uh, quite an epic surf. I say epic because I'm a bit rubbish, so anything that I actually get to stand up is actually epic in my opinion. The the, the waves were about four or five foot and pretty clean, which for me is pretty big, um, especially considering it was on a reef. Now, a reef is obviously, for those who don't know, it's a, a coral based formation underneath the waves, so it's, you get sand normally on a lot of beaches, but this is where the coral is quite low under the surface, and that's what forms the waves. Uh, now it's quite shallow, about five, six foot, if that. In places maybe only four. And this is the first time I've surfed a reef, so naturally I was quite apprehensive because when you get pushed under a wave, you can just hit, hit the reef and it can hurt quite a lot. You know, cut your foot, hit your head. Uh, naturally, me being master of disasters, I hit my foot and I've now got a cut foot, but don't worry. Nothing too major, it's just a minor cut. Now I'm deliberating whether we go for a beer or I go for some food, or I go for a swim. First, I'm either tempted more by an ice cream, or a beer, or both. Maybe both. Yeah, Adventure Max says have both. So I spent two nights here in Mushroom Bay Villa Resort, and it's been okay. Uh, I didn't, didn't show you around as I was going to, because I wanted to get a feel for the place. And it's one of those places that you stay for a couple of nights, and it is lovely. Um, it couldn't get a better location, but if I were to recommend anywhere, I'd probably recommend Next Door, uh, and that's the High Tide Resort Hotel. It's just much more together. It's run by uh, the managers in America, and so they actually have customer service in mind. Whereas anything, unfortunately, run by Indonesians tends to be customer service second, and that's about it. It's just everything comes second. And the uh, the High Tide, the food is excellent. Um, whereas here the food is terrible. Um, I was actually in the honeymoon suite, which is hilarious in itself. Why is in the honeymoon suite? They told, they said they were full, and then uh, he, he, there's no one in the place. There's, the place is absolutely empty. Um, but they put in the honeymoon suite, which you would think or hope would be the best room in the in the place. The bath was broken. Uh, the sink was broken. The shower was broken. The air conditioning didn't work, the doors didn't lock, or shut. So that gives you some idea of sort of how they treat the place. But if I'd come here for a honeymoon, I'd have been devastated. The fact that I've seen to, what I thought was on initial sight is lovely. But then if you dig deeper into these sort of places, you often find a little bit wrong. So that's all we've got time for today. If you would like to be subscribed, that'd be great. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching and look out for the next one. Uh, Till next time, bye!